Kamaru Usman, hey. Leon Edwards, part three, the trilogy. We, before we get into the fight, we were talking about this off camera about trilogies and immediate right. rematches. Do you, do you, should we talk about yeah, that? Yeah, you know, because I know you have some feelings I do, on it. And, and I'll be honest, the, the seed was planted in my head by uh, Ariel Awani. You know, he was talking on the MMA yep. show, him and his guys were talking about, you know, do we necessarily have to do the immediate rematch? And I understand both sides of this argument. On one hand, you have the long reigning champion who's a lot of times beat name after name at the top of the division and they're going on to, to set records and, and make history. When they lose, it's the respectful thing to them to do to give that person an immediate rematch. But on the flip side of this, what you get a lot of times is you sort of are stealing some of the shine away from the newly crowned champion. Because, you know, Leon Edwards, a lot of people still have Usman ranked in their minds. They have Usman ranked higher, uh, pound for pound. And it's like, well, wait a minute, that guy just beat him. It's like, oh, well, yeah, but he got clipped. You know, he just lost. Usman's the guy who's been reigning at the top forever. A lucky kick. Yeah, 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 lucky kick by the guy who hasn't lost a fight in 10 years. But that's, yeah, yeah it was definitely lucky. Um, you know, yeah, I, I can't stand when people say that kind of stuff. It's ridiculous. Uh, when you look at uh, the Juliana Pena versus uh, Amanda Nunez, right? Juliana Pena's moment went out, like it flared up. And then it went away. And it almost feels like it never happened because they gave Amanda that immediate rematch. Amanda went in. Maybe she had, you know, a night off the first time they fought. Whatever it was, she she fell asleep at the wheel. Nunez took her neck. But then they run it right back. And it's almost like they never gave Nunez a chance. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Juliana, Pena. Pena. Uh, like, time to bask, you know? And Juliana called for the fight herself. So you can't be yeah. mad about that, but... I wouldn't be too upset about seeing Amanda Nunes taking another fight at the top of the division to get back to her spot in the championship fight. Same thing with Valentina. Can Valentina fight anybody else at the top? I know she's beat most of the division, but maybe she should be in a number one contender's fight. Give the new reigning champion a moment to settle in without having to run it right back. Look at what happened in the men's 125 division we had to have the same fight four times in a <laughs> row <laughs> took oh, two Just years to i think to figure this that thing out. out because it's like oh well he got it and then he got it and then brandon had to go fight somebody else and then he got back to the spot like it's so much better to me to kind of have to fight for your position in those title fights instead of just being gifted to you but again you go back to the other hand and it's like how are you not going to give Kamaru Usman, uh, you know, another crack at the title he yeah. held not that long ago. It, it's 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 a thin line of uh, how do you like is you need to make a criteria, What's the criteria or something for the immediate rematch. Yeah, is it just being the because champion have, for a long time? Is it is it how is it number of defenses? Is it how close the fight was? Like. You know, because in this in this scenario, we have Leon and Kamaru going a third time. I looked at both scorecards from one and two. Kamaru is up, I believe it's five to two in round one against Leon between the yeah. two fights. So to he's got one win already. He's lost the other. So I just think in this specific scenario, Be you had to give Kamaru it's the, the trilogy. Immediate. Because it's a trilogy, because it's 1-1, one, yeah. one, we see immediate rematches with, like, we're going to see Valentina get the immediate rematch, but it's not like it's 1-1. One, one. Right. It's 1-0 for Grasso. Um, Alexa sure. Grasso. But, um, so, I I don't know. This scenario, I, I'm not complaining about a yeah. trilogy. I just think it makes the most sense. But in other scenarios, I, I absolutely agree with what you're saying, and I think immediate rematches for the title should be reconsidered depending on scenario and figure out what's the right criteria to give 
that immediate rematch. Yeah, and I don't know that I'm mad about it. You know, sometimes it's like, yeah, let's see it again. You know, I, I get it. I get it either way, but it just seems like it's becoming the the norm that any time the champion gets beat, he gets a rematch. And it's like, that's the, it's never really been like that in the in the past years. Yeah, but then I think, well, when there was the reigns of John Jones, Anderson Silva, GSP, Demetrius Johnson, those guys, well, they were all, Jose Aldo, like they were all champions for 10 years, lost. right? So, so Ooh, obviously that. when, you know, uh, Silva got beat, he got the rematch. Like, so I, I, I understand where it comes from, the idea of it, but I, I just don't know that it has to happen every single time. Yeah, like, um, to be honest, Adesanya, I just said I'm the biggest Adesanya fan next to the next guy. I wouldn't have been mad if they didn't give him an immediate rematch. Well, see, but Alex is up 1 0, 3 0, technically. Man, I mean, 1-0. that would have been cool we don't to care about Adesanya. Big boxing <laughs> yeah, well, you still have to kind of, it's still Most there. Most people never saw you, him. You know it's there. It's there. Most people never saw yeah, him. Most people don't know that they're completely different fighters. It's a different sport. You know what I mean? It, it really True. is. It's it's not the same sport. Granted, they're doing the same thing. It's different. <coughs> they did both Excuse hit me. a take. They both hit a take down yeah, in that fight. If you could call it that. But um, <laughs> yeah, like something like that scenario. I mean, I wouldn't even be too upset if they made Adesanya fight someone well, else. Just because who does he fight though? He already kinda... beat the, everyone in the division. That's the that's the problem that's that you the run next into. Question. You know, it's almost he's beaten everybody in yeah, the top. It's almost better. For someone like Alex or someone, I mean, I can't say Leon because he's fought everybody too. But when you get the guy that almost got fast tracked to that position, it's some sort of better to open up the division, give other guys a chance, you know, to get back in there. Robert Whitaker has a hundred percent more chance of beating Alex Pereira for the belt than he ever has of even getting another fight with this. So, you know what I mean. Yeah. So for guys like that, I you know, it, it's nice to have a new champion. 